Hi everyone and welcome to our day 10 here in Orlando. I don't know if you can tell by the jacket. It's a rainy day today. So our original plan was to go to celebration this morning. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we, whether we should do it or not. Still indecisive. Yeah. We are going to be then heading to the outlets. Obviously that's kind of inside outside anyways. Mm -hmm. um, so that should be okay. Yeah. Uh, it's just whether, whether we do celebration this morning. Let's have a think about it. Okay, so we're gonna go and grab the eye trolley down to the Vineland outlets, and then from there we're gonna decide whether to go to celebration or not. I just don't want to be walking around with it, chucking it down, and you're kind of rushing through mm -hmm. it because it is a nice place, celebration. Yeah. Um, just one of those things. But yeah, let's go and head on the eye trolley down to the Vineland outlets. Okay, so we just got off the eye trolley bus now, and we've arrived at the Vineland outlets now. We've decided we're just going to stay here, do the vinyl outlets, just because of how wet it is. I think the rain's actually got heavier, hasn't it? Yeah. So we're just going to do the vinyl outlets. Obviously, that's kind of indoor outside, um, so it has shelter. Indoor outdoor. Out, indoor, out, outdoor, indoor, indoor, outdoor, <laughs> whatever you want to say. It's got shelter, but you're outside. Yeah. Um, so we're going, to, we're going to head into here, have a look at a couple of shops, take you around with us, um, and then we'll More grab. More money to be spent. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. <laughs> but yeah, um, so we're going to grab some food down here as well. We're not sure what we're going to grab, but we'll let you know when we're going to get it. Um, so come on and explore Van Lan Outlets with us. Okay, so we started off with a lot of expensive style shops. We're not going to knees out with it. <laughs> don't have the facilities for that. <laughs> Literally don't. Banks running low now. <laughs> Let's head this way. What did you say? I didn't anyway. I had it before I came in. Really, yeah. So this is what I mean by indoor, outdoor, outdoor, indoor, whatever you want to say. It's got shelter as you're walking around, so it's okay. So we're heading into Tommy Hilfag. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tommy Hilfag. <laughs> Alright, restart. So we're heading into Tommy Hilfiger now. Um, I did pick up a nice t-shirt last time I came here. <laughs> I picked up a nice t-shirt last time I came here, so let's go and head inside. Okay, so it's 5% off underwear, so Vicky's having a look over here. So you can find anything nice. So although it is 40% off, the prices are still quite expensive, aren't they? You're still looking at about $13, $14 per pair of underwear. <laughs> so a lot a lot of the stuff seems to be buy one, get one 50% off, which I wouldn't say is exactly a deal because you're having to buy one pair anyways at full price. So this is probably the best thing I've seen. $19.99 for a t-shirt. However, I think this designs are pretty simple aren't they basic, yeah, yeah basic tees they're not like anything special yeah. um, but that's probably the best deal that i've seen current weather scenes outside look at that odds up let's go <laughs> okay so the next shop we're going to be going in is versace <laughs> no i'm joking guys we're not that rich uh Probably. Well, any, not rich at all. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, so the next shop's gonna be quick looking Adidas. I did find some sh um, socks last time I came in here, but they were expensive. Okay, so the socks are good price in here. It's taken an additional 50% off. Um, so they're all about $22. Yep, yeah, $22. So that would be coming to about $11, $12, which is about almost nine pound. Good, good price, really. Okay, so Vicky's picked herself up two pairs of socks. Well, six pairs of quarter socks and these crew ones here all different colors and they're coming to eight dollars and they're coming to eleven dollars so really good price okay so successful shopping at adidas adidas um for vicky there she got herself nine pairs of socks mm -hmm. <laughs> how much did it come to at all um twenty dollars or something twenty dollars and 14 cent i think it was yeah, yeah after tax which is it's good good for the quality of socks yeah, yeah. um the queue was massive in there though, wasn't it? Okay. So what we're going to do now is literally the food corners around the corner. So we're going to go and head in there, see what we want for some food. Okay, let's go and have a look inside. Okay, so it looks like Shake Shack is the only option. So we're going to head into Shake Shack. We're going to look at something different because we did have Shake Shack yesterday. Um, we'll look at the menu, see if we can find something different. Okay, so we're just going to get something just to keep us going. And we found these 10 pieces of chicken bites, which we thought would be quite good. Uh, spicy barbecue fries as well. Spicy Korean barbecue fries and a sunset lemonade. And that's coming to you a total of 
Okay, so the food's arrived. So this is what the Sunset Lemonade looks like. Looks like a strawberry lemonade, it does look really nice. Now the reason why we're sat here facing this is because how busy is it in that, in that canteen area? Yeah, over there, it's like crazy big. So we've just got these like stool seats facing this. Okay, Vicky's gonna try the Sunset Lemonade. Better than the Chili's one. No. No? Oh. Is it? Okay, so these chips are amazing with this sauce. That sauce is so good. This is what the chicken bites look like. Mm. Not really nice, actually. Okay. You want to give them a go? Yep. Or are you dipping it in? Bit of ketchup. They look good. They look like... Let's have a look at them. Mm. Oh, yeah. They look crispy. They look juicy. Are they good? 10-10. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm giving it a go. Oh, they are. Oh, geez, they're hot. Yeah, it was. Right, let's give it. Get it. Mm. Them chicken bites are lovely. I didn't expect them to be that good. They're like, they're proper fresh as well. You can tell they've just, just been freshly made. Definitely, definitely really nice then. Those chips with that, that sauce is unreal. How good's that sauce? It's like, I can't explain. Imagine just like a Korean style, kind of like thick sauce. It's really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna try the Sunset Lemonade. It's good, man. That's nice. Mm -hmm. It's a bit stronger than the chili one. Maybe a bit too much syrup in. Mm. I like it a bit more lemonade, but still really nice. Okay, so we just finished up at Shake Shack. How was that bit? Really, really good. Was that the best Shake Shack you've had? I think so. Them chicken bites were really nice. So, to be fair, they were better than I thought as well, weren't they? I'm not always keen on burgers, and I like things I can pick at. So yeah, that chicken, chicken bites are perfect, with them yeah. chips as well. Yeah. And that drink? Yeah. Or oh, would you prefer the passion uh, the dragon fruit. dragon fruit pomegranate? <laughs> I always say passion fruit. I always say. Um, I'm say dragon fruit. Yeah. yeah. So chicken bites. Spicy Korean chips and dragon fruit pomegranate drink. There we go. <laughs> so we've just come back shopping now. I just looked in this shop sketches. You can see most of the shops have this sale, 50% off. So that's obviously the big catch. But then it says, you're off your second pair. So if you're buying two pairs, it's actually not bad. It works out quite good, but you just gotta watch out for that. So we're gonna have a quick look in Nike. We don't usually find anything in here, do we? But we thought we'll have a look, see if anything does pop up. So straight away, this is very busy in here. Let's have a quick look. I don't think anything's going to come up and we'll probably get out quick as we can. <laughs> so here's all the socks in here. Just for price comparison, these are $28 and there's no discount on these, is there? So head to Adidas. A lot better price in there. These cargo shorts are nice. I do like these, but $55 at an outlet. Oh, blowing your nose. <laughs> $55 and I don't want to exactly say they're cheap them. They've got different colours in them as well. Um, but I do like them black ones, just a bit too expensive. Okay, so that wasn't a nice shopping experience, was it? Not <laughs> Vicky just spotted me like this. Been fixed. Well, you'd think that that was a surprise for me. He does it more often than not. True. He doesn't put his foot up, not this is no, a struggle for Danny to you can, you can hear stuff on your ears like this. It's a lot better. It's good. But yeah, definitely not an enjoyable experience in there, was it? It's like everyone's in a mad rush, like rushing around. And I don't see the hype as well. Everything was like overpriced still. Because you think it's like a outlet. Oh, it's discounted. Yeah, but it's definitely not. Okay, so we're going to head into Auntie Anne's. We're going to look for a cinnamon style pretzel. Are you looking at the menu? Yeah. <laughs> what, what are we thinking? What have you seen? Cinnamon sugar pretzel nuggets. Cinnamon, cinnamon sugar pretzel, cinnamon. Cinnamon. yeah if you watch my vlogs you know I can't get my words out but <laughs> yeah cinnamon sugar pretzel nuggets, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay so we decided we're going for a cinnamon sugar pretzel, <laughs> not a cinnamon sugar pretzel nuggets. Why do I have to make it so hard to say it? <laughs> okay so the goods have been secured, we've got the cinnamon sugar pretzel, look how beautiful that looks. 
Look how soft it is as well. Mm, and warm. warm. Ooh. Alright, let's go with it. I'm at the Buy it. Mm. Gorgeous. Mm. Nice. Soft mm. inside. Good texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Let me have a taste. Okay, Danny's turn. I love anything cinnamon, mate. Yeah. Like anything cinnamon, sugar, whatever. Nice. Good, mm. isn't that? It? it gets better than what you taste it. Mm. You get a bit more sugar, yeah, a bit yeah, more yeah. flavour on it, it. The fact that it's warm as well makes it a lot nicer. Yeah. De definitely recommend getting a cinnamon sugar pretzel. Close from that. At least I can say it now. Oh, yeah. I know. It's the nuggets. The, the nuggets free me up. Cinnamon sugar pretzel nuggets. There you go. Can <laughs> you see it? So, coming to the end of the pretzel. So nice, this. Definitely recommend it. Just for, we've got for the big pretzel because the nuggets were $8, I think, and this was $5.99. And for the price difference, I feel like you get more in this. As well. yeah. <laughs> it's literally just the same thing got cut up. I'm just cutting it up with my mouth as I'm eating it. Oh, God, okay. Look. There you go, one nugget down. There you go, nugget. And then I've got another, another nugget there. Okay, so the next shop we're going to go in and head into is the Under Armour shop. Okay, so we've just come out of Under Armour shop. The deals are exactly the same as the other outlet, weren't they? Um, exactly, pretty much the exact same stuff in as well. So I just came across this Carlos Bake Shop, which is like a cake vending machine. Cool, isn't it? I don't know what the pricing's at, but not like a good slab of cake as well. Okay, so we're looking at about $9 before tax for a slab. I mean, it is a big, big slab, but for having that just walking around, I don't think that's a good price. Okay, so the rain is coming down a lot more now, isn't it, Vic? Look at Vicky's back of the rain. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to head into Reebok here. Quick look in here because I did pick up a nice t-shirt that I'm wearing at the moment from here in the last visit. Okay, so we just come out of Reebok. Nothing in there was the, oh, exactly the same as the other shop again. Uh, they had the same t-shirt I just recently got, but I've already done that shop, so it was pretty much exactly the same. So I'm going to head down this street now. Got to cross the rain first. Okay, so I think the last shop of our trip in the outlets is going to be Aeropostale. Hey, not Aeropostale this time, mate. <laughs> Alright, 50 to 70% off the entire store. Ooh, sounds good. Okay, so some, some not bad stuff and pricing in there, but what do you think about the layout in that? Awful. Yeah. It's just like fighting around people. It's like so narrow and yeah. like. It was, like weird like turns in the cars and stuff um, so it made it hard to actually look at stuff but no but like I said the pricing in there is actually quite good if you're looking for some like graphic design t-shirts as well it's not a bad place to go to okay so we're heading out of the Vineland outlets now uh, it's been all right I think the other the other outlets are better the Orlando International Premier outlets I definitely recommend going to both though and checking out checking yeah. out both because some might have some stock some might not have it um, it's quite nice to walk around there and it's obviously Good idea if it's raining like a day today. To be fair, the rain slowed down, hasn't it? Yeah. Slowed down quite a lot. It's um, spitting, but it has. But I'm hoping it stays like this so we can actually have not a bad evening. Anyways, we're going grabbing the eye trolley back to our hotel, where we're then going to be heading to Universal Studios. Okay, so we've made it. <laughs> Literally, as soon as I ended that video, what happened? Saw the bus turning up, so we spit. <laughs> we ran. Oh, the lights luckily turned red for us. So we ran across the road, straight into the bus. Optimum timing, that perfect. Two yeah. bucks. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> oh god, I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so fast forward a couple of hours after a chill. Um, obviously, we got off the i trolley bus. We went back into the hotel room, mm -hmm. and we just chilled for a bit, literally because the weather's that bad. It's almost like a storm coming, isn't it? Yeah, it's not great. Yeah. So what we're doing now? Going to Universal. Yep. Um, and we're going to go to the Vaughan Stunt <laughs> Okay. The Vaughan what? The Vaughan Stunt There we go. Um, the Animal Actors Show. Sure. Yeah, so we're going to watch a couple of shows. Um, I might try and do a couple of rides as well, indoor rides. So I'm not sure what the what it's like with rides when the weather's bad over mm -hmm. here. But yeah, 
first thing is we're obviously we're going to get to Universal. We'll let you know where we're going from there. And then tonight they are doing like a Universal concert show, yeah. which has a girl called Nessa Barrett playing. Now, if you've never heard of her, she's like a American TikTok, TikTok singer. Yeah. She's quite young. Uh, she's quite new on the scene. So we thought we might as well go and see it whilst, whilst it's on. Um, so yeah, that's where we're off to now. So come and join us on our way to Universal. So we're currently just walking on Universal Boulevard. What do we reckon? Is it gonna rain? What do you think of it? Yeah. Yeah? I reckon so. Bad rain? Yeah, because I can feel it's starting again a bit now. Yeah. And the clouds just look heavy. Yeah. It does, it does look like it's gonna come down. Next next transition into the video is gonna be chucking, chucking it down. <laughs> Right, so we're just walking across here. If you are staying on International Drive, you can see the uh, endless summer hotels are there. It's literally just a walk over this bridge to get there. So it's actually not a bad walk, especially when it's sunny. Yeah. When it's rainy, maybe not, but. <laughs> it looks like more of a drag. It does. When it's rainy, but it does. Not bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. But yeah, we'll continue our walk and we'll catch you once we're at Universal. Okay, so we made it through the security and we're on our way to. Universal. Are you going to miss this walk bit? I am. It's a good walk, isn't it? Yeah. Especially the moving walkways are brilliant. I love. I do love walking into Universal. It's a lot different seeing everyone in the Max, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like I said, well, you, we've been we've been lucky really with the weather we've had. But yeah, it's just it's just uh, unfortunately these are, our last two days are going to be rainy. But oh well, we'll make we'll make the most of it. I've still not had a Cinnabon or a Cold Stone Creamer either. Tonight might be the night. Woo. <laughs> right, we're going to head into Universal. What we're going to do first, the Bourne Stuntacular. Once we've seen that, we're then going to come back to City Walk. We're going to grab ourselves a Panda Express and the Moors, and then we're going to head back in. I think that's a good plan. Yeah, yeah sounds good. I think it's a good sign that we're seeing a few more people walking out than in. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look too busy. I know, I don't, obviously not been in the park yet, but looks all right walking in, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, straight into the park, no queues. Looking good. Looking Fingers crossed it stays like this and the weather stays all right. <laughs> Fingers crossed for us both. <laughs> so we're in the park. I feel like you can always judge how busy a park is when you see the Despicable Me ride queue, um, the time. And it's a 60 minute wait, which is about average, I guess. That's always a 60 minute wait, right? Every time I see it. I think it's just default set to 60 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're gonna head down to Beverly Hills and we're gonna go and head into the Jason Bourne stunt. <laughs> okay, so we're joining the queue. The next show is at quarter to five. Um, so we're really excited for this one. I know how good it is. Vicky's never seen it before, have you? No? You're excited? Can't wait. You do? No, it's brilliant. The, the actual stunts in here are brilliant. Okay, so we've come off the Jason Bourne ride. We've come to Jason Bourne ride, Jason Bourne show. Yeah. We've come to Panda Express. Vicky's grabbed herself a bigger plate. She's gone for honey sesame chicken, orange chicken, and Beijing beef, and then half and half with noodles and rice. Looks lovely as always. Um, on the Jason Bourne show, fantastic, wasn't it? How good was it? Nothing I've ever seen before. Yeah, unbelievable. It's like. The way they use the, the the screen's unbelievable. Like you think, you think it's like part of the show, but it's just on a screen. And then the way they switch between the screen and obviously the actors as well and the stunts, it's amazing. Uh, and like I said, you have to remember it's live as well. The, the stunts they're doing, um, it's like a live show, which is it's, it's unbelievable. Really, it is. I think it's the best thing in the park. Yeah. You agree? No. Yeah. I, like I said, I'd watch it again and it'd still be amazed. What happened halfway through though? The show. Not a malfunction. Yeah. So. It was it was swinging on a on a helicopter bit. I don't want to say too much, and it just malfunctioned, and the screen kind of just froze, and the music stopped, and some guy came on and just just talked, spoke to us, didn't he, about what the screen's like and how they do it and how, how they do the stunts and stuff. Um, but we couldn't video anything in there, and obviously I didn't really want to video anything anyways because I wanted it needs to be a surprise. You need, you need to see how good it is yourself. Uh, I definitely put that to one of your highest priorities. Make sure you go and see that Jason Bourne stunt show. Right, whilst Vicky's enjoying a Panda Express, I'm going to go and grab myself a Moore's Burrito. Only in Florida would you eat your food outside when it's raining. <laughs> Only in Florida. 
Right, come and join me on my way to Moors. Okay, so we're coming inside to Moors. Vicky's come with me. She decided to come with me. She's finished the Panda Express. Uh, this is what the menu is looking like. Okay, the Moors has been secured. It's mad how quick it's gone dark, isn't it? Yeah, I know. It's literally been like from me to far out me a slow eater. You are true, yeah. So. Um, and the queue were quite big in Moors. Yeah, it was. Right, anyways, I've got my burrito. I went for a chicken burrito with rice, black beans, cheese, lettuce. pico de gallo, lettuce, That's it. guacamole. Oh, yeah, guacamole. Yeah. And no sauce. I didn't know if we had a sauce. I didn't even know the sauces were there. They weren't really asking, were they? No. Anyways, they threw in chips. Chips and salsa. Chips and salsa, too. I'll be having them. Thank you. Are these good as the chilies? Guessing not. No, they're no. a bit drier, Dry. not the salted. Yeah. Not bad though, for free. Cool, I'll be having them. Thank you very much. Okay. This, that is, <laughs> tell you what. Way too burrito. Have a feel of that, just in your left hand. That's it. Hey. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> That's a heavy juice. I mean, size was, of a small child. I mean, about, wait for About $13 though. it was. But for the size, I could easily share this for like a lunch option. Easily. All right. It Hopefully it's a good wrap. Pretty hefty. It's a girthy wrap. I mean, girthy burrito. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How is it? Not bad. A bit dry, I feel like I should put some salsa on. Mm. That salsa might be going on. Um, probably about, let me give it another bite, I'll see. Okay, take two. I've eaten the top bit of wrap. A lot. Nice. Just feel like it's lacking a bit of salsa at the moment. We'll see. <laughs> oh, just taking another bite, I think I'd go better. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot better now. I think you got some pico in there. Yeah. That's why. A bit of pico, a bit, a bit of guac. That, yeah, that's actually really nice. I won't say best burrito I've had in my life. Compared to bar burrito. I would say bar burrito is better. Yeah. But what I've had, I don't exactly know what to order here. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I like it a bit more, like, a bit more wetter. Mm. But still the taste of the, the taste of the chicken and the black beans and the pico is really nice. Nice. Okay, yeah, so nearing towards the end of the burrito. It's nice, it's a good different option. Would I say the best burrito I'd no. Um, would I say the best food here? No. I'd definitely prefer a Panda Express. Okay. Definitely recommend getting a Panda Express instead, but as a different option, it's not bad. But to fill you this this wrap's probably the most I've been filled after mm. after a food. When I fed the size of it and the, the weight of it. So if you're looking to get filled, you can get a burrito. Taste-wise, I'd recommend Panda Express instead. Sorry, if you can hear me crunching in the background, I am eating the chips. <laughs> it's time. Cold star. We're going for out with it. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you the menu when we get in there. Um, but I think we have an idea of what we're going to get, which is going to be a... I think it's French vanilla ice cream with Oreos and strawberries. That sounds lovely to me. Big one, massive one, even though I'm full. <laughs> Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's go in Cold Stone Creamy. Oh, the queue's looking quite big. Two bites, yeah. I'll have the rest then. I'll have 200 bites. <laughs> So I got the biggest size possible. <laughs> so got a heavy one. I think it came to a total of eight dollars and nine cents. French vanilla with Oreos mixed in. Look at that. Oh yeah. I don't think she mixed it quite as good as it normally is. Normally mm. it's like proper smashed. It's fairly we're good. very busy, so Ooh, yeah. mind that dripper. Oh. Right. Good. That French vanilla ice cream. So good. <laughs> Honestly, 
like, I can't describe it, like, so creamy, the ice cream. Well nice. Oh my. Okay, so I'm going to take my Cold Stone Creamy ice cream, and Vicky's going to have, like, two spoons. We're going to take it into the theme park, and we're going to head in and watch the concert. I yeah. think it's already on. <laughs> we'll see. Only a British person will get ice cream in the rain. There you go. Even though the queue is massive. You won't leave me to fool me for that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the rain's actually died down now, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's actually not bad. Which is good. It's a good sign. I'm hoping it stays like that. Okay, so we're just going to head into the Universal store now because Vicky wants to grab something and she'll show you once she's got it. Okay, so she's got it and she's put it on the phone. What is it, Vic? Socket. Pop socket. Talk yeah. us through what that is. Um, so basically it sits on the back of your phone and it helps you kind of hold your phone so you're not going to drop it as easily. You can just kind of... And what's the design on it? It's a Deathly Hallows. How cool oh, is that? Go. It goes, goes with your phone, phone, drop it yeah. just like the case, isn't it? Yeah. So Brilliant. You can push it down. Yeah, you can pull it out. Yeah. Brilliant, that. Yeah. Happy. Happy. How, many, how much did that come to? Uh, 19 17 I think. Yee. Bit expensive, but expensive. you're on your holidays. <laughs> Okay, so we're here at the Mardi Gras concert stage and we're going to be watching Nessa Berry. I just stood in a big puddle and got my shoe all wet. <laughs> <laughs> so there's your list, 17th of February in Nessa Berry and tomorrow we're going back to watch Katie and the Sunshine Band. Okay, so it looks like she's not on stage yet, so I think we're going to hit the Villain Con ride, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, should we go and do that? Let's go and do it. Okay, so we're here at the Villain Con. This is actually my first time doing this ride. Vicky, are you excited? You looking forward to it? Yeah? It's only a 10 minute wait, so we thought we might as well whilst we're just waiting for Nessa Barrett to come on stage. in here, the queue. It's cool, isn't it? All right, I think we're here. All right, let's get our blasters. Vicky, how heavy are these? They're heavy, aren't they? Yeah. Scores on the doors. 437,000. 656,000. Okay, so we'll just come off the villain con ride. What do you reckon, Vic, the verdict? Okay, yeah. I you, mean, you I had said. no idea where I was shooting, what I was supposed to be shooting at, so I was just pressing the trigger and hoping for the best. I think it did pretty all right with that, but... It was a bit chaotic, but... Yeah. Uh, there were some sections that I really understood. I mean, once you found out where your trigger were, I'd recommend when you go in, shoot near the bottom corner so you know what your colour is. Vicky didn't do that. Yeah, there, was multiple, there was multiple people with the same V as me, so I didn't know... Yeah. I had no idea. But it was it was quite fun. The guns are heavy, aren't they as well? Yeah, they are. Guns are really heavy. It was. We got a small trial. Yeah, it was good struggle. good fun though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, really fun. Yeah. Okay, so I think Nessa Barrett's coming on now. So we're just going to head over to the concert bit and see if we can watch a little bit of the show.
I have like a, a list of words that I can't say, um, so excuse me please, I'm trying to wash my potty mouth as much as I can. Okay, so we just finished off at the Nessa Barrett concert. How was that? It was alright, yeah, she's yeah. got a good voice. Yeah, I've never heard of, it, heard of her before, but she's actually a good singer. She reminded me a bit like Billie Eilish, yeah, um, yeah. similar type of music to her. Um, but yeah, it's not really good. The, the park's seeming quite quiet now, so I'm just outside the mummy. You know what that means. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go and ride the mummy, which is it's a 20 minute wait at the moment, but they have single rider queue, so I might as well just go and do that. Yeah, <laughs> Vicky's gonna wait here yeah, for me. Oh. Freezing cold. She's, so cool. she's good, isn't she? Whilst I go on the mummy. The curse is real. The whole place is a trap. Silence. With your soul, I shall rule for all eternity. Always yawning on these vlogs. Every time. Sorry, you, you I look know. like the mummy then. When, when you, your souls are mine. <laughs> right, let's go and hit the mummy. Okay, let's go on the revenge of the mummy. So I've just come off the mummy ride. Brilliant ride that, I think. One of my favourite rides here. Is it better than, I think it is. I think it's my favourite park in Universal Studios. Right. Not Islands of Adventure, I think my favourite is Hagrid's or Velocity Coaster, but in here, I think Mummy's the best. I think the, the full theming around this is brilliant. Um, obviously when you're going around the dark as well, it's brilliant. The queue line's probably one of the best queue lines in Universal as well. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, so we're just heading out of the park now. We've had a really nice time, haven't we? Been good, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, like I said, we've done a couple of rides, seen the concert. Still playing now, but we're just leaving a bit early so we avoid like the, the traffic and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's go and head out the park for us. Who else loves Universal and City Walk at night when it's all lit up? Just everything looks a lot better. So yeah, we're just heading out the park now, and we'll catch you once we're back at the hotel. Okay, so we're back to our room now after a really nice time at Universal. Yep. Um, like I said, going, going to the park and it's at night, it's a lot quieter. Mm. It's really good actually, I, I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Right, a lot better through the night, even though it was raining. More relaxed. We still made something in the night, didn't we, yep. as well, which was good. Um, so obviously we did the new villain con ride, that was good. Yeah. And Vicky even, even enjoyed it, didn't you? Oh yeah. Even though it's a bit yeah. bit hectic, you don't know what's kind of going on, it, yeah. it, was, it was good. Just to, oh, Vicky's just enjoying a Gideon's cookie, the final remaining bit of it now. Mm -hmm. If you've not seen it, we went to Disney Springs on Thursday mm -hmm. and it's Saturday now, so a couple of days ago. Um, I thought you were getting the box. <laughs> yeah, um, we went to Disney Springs and we got the Gideon's cookies and we tried them. So if you're interested to see what our reaction was like, you can go ahead over and watch that video after this one, uh, if you've not already seen it. Creased. Need to fit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, we've had a really nice time today. Um, like I said, the rain it does affect it a little bit. But if you plan, if you plan ahead, we've obviously we checked the weather earlier and we brought an umbrella with us. Yeah. We brought rain jackets. We bought pa pants. Came prepared. We did come prepared. I think that's my top tip. If you're coming to Florida, come prepared for all weathers because it can change as well. I've been to Florida before where it literally just changes from sunny to raining. So come prepared. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be raining again. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be heavy rain as well tomorrow. Mm. So we're not fully decided what we're doing. Yeah. Um, obviously, next week when our next vlog comes out, you'll know. We're trying to find some stuff to do inside. Um, we've had a couple of look at some stuff. Later on, we are going back to Universal again to watch Casey and the Sunshine Band, mm -hmm. which are doing the same thing that what Nessa Barrett did today. Um, so that would be quite cool. Yeah. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Yep. It's our last full day as well tomorrow. Sorry, it's gone so quick, hasn't it? It really has. It's sad. It's always horrible when you get to this point of your holiday because 
you're like anticipating leaving but you've had a really nice time but you're trying to enjoy what you've got left but then you also know you're leaving so you're like oh but, but yeah. yeah it is what it is we've had a nice time we have well, yeah that's going to be the end of our video so if you have liked this video please don't forget to drop us a like comment any questions down below and obviously the main thing is please subscribe that would mean the world to us um like i said we've got another vlog coming tomorrow and then travel day home um so a couple more vlogs to look forward to and if you've not already checked out all our other videos go and check them out and uh, we have had some amazing days here yeah it's been really good so yeah thank you all for watching and roll on the next one Thank <music> you.